Hey everybody, welcome back and join us to our new adventure. So Farhan and I are traveling from Cagayan de Oro all the way down to Valencia, Bukidnon. Our destination is about 3 hours bus ride from CDO to Valencia City. Some of you knows that I have two provinces in Mindanao, one in Cagayan and one in Valencia. And after spending time in my province near Cagayan, we decided to go visit my other province in Valencia, Bukidnon. And here we are guys, join us in our fun and bumpy rides. It's so bumpy. We're riding a bus and it's so bumpy. We are on the very back of the bus so that we can extend our legs. Ugh. Alright guys, welcome to my province. This is where I used to live when I was 12 till I was 17 before I came to Canada and now I am back again. I was here last 2018 and now I'm here again 2024 so it's been a while and yes, welcome home. Good morning from the Philippines. We're staying at my girlfriend's family's house. Check this place out. Oh, we got a friend over here. Hi, friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The fighting cocks. The fighting roosters. <laughs> they woke me up at three this morning and then the dog started going. But it's okay. In the Philippines, they have scooters and motorcycles everywhere. This is a cute little house. I'll take you for a tour inside. There's another house being built right over there. Looks like it's gonna be a two-story house. But let's check out the place where I am staying. A lot of greenery, a lot of plants. Shoes outside. I wear a brace, so I'm gonna keep my shoes on, but I'm gonna Pat dry my shoes, get the dust off or as much as I can. Cute little front porch. 
Ooh. What are these guys? It feels pretty hard. I don't know what, what kind of plants those are. Leave me a comment. This is the dryer, you guys. Air dry, the real way. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Princess. The princess has been my buddy since yesterday. We got along. She's really good at massages. She's only seven years old and she knows English. They got K1 over here, he's tired. So this is their living room. Check it out, really cool. This is the bedroom, I wanna make sure no one's in there. Ooh. Hey, good morning, Kuya. Good morning. Nice. We got a guitar. A bed, not too bad. Hi. <laughs> Here is the kitchen table slash dining room table. Oh, they made us some rice. I'll check this out, you guys. Garlic fried rice, yeah. With some vegetables. I see some peas and carrots in there. Oh, I cannot wait to try that. And I think this is some sort of red rice. This is where they keep the dishes. They wash the dishes <laughs> and then put them in here. This is uh, a drying rack and the cupboards to store. Really cool. And some families' houses have fridges, some don't, so we're blessed to have one over here. I have to drink this mineral water because I'm not able to drink the regular water since it might upset my stomach. Sorry? Biscuit. Bis biscuit. Okay, so we bought some biscuits for them yesterday. And it's a party mix of biscuits. Yeah, so she's pointing the biscuit out. That way they'll have snacks to munch on throughout the day. Or if they have to go to school, they can take that to school. I am going to go into the room where I have been staying. So this is the room. And I'm going to go in. It's a little messy right now, so do not mind it. We're fortunate enough to sleep right here. The bed's been comfortable. Got a window. Hasn't been very hot. I think this house has some... Um, What am I trying to say? It's sealed. We call that Alcuba. Alcuba. <laughs> it's like a ceiling so that it's not hot. Yeah, so it's Alcuba. There we go. It's a ceiling. So it's not hot in here. It's perfect, actually. It wasn't hot to sleep. Well, it's hot for the people who cannot handle it. Yeah, it's hot for the people in the Philippines. I love this weather. So this is all of the stuff. They let us pour a fan. We got the outlets for our phones. So let's go see. And then. What's it called? Komod, Arenola. Arenola. So, some people in the Philippines have commodes if you want to do your business when you're going in the middle of the night so you don't have to go outside or to one of their outhouses. So, they do that here. Uh, it might seem dirty to the Western world, but it's a lot convenient for them, especially when you're half asleep and sometimes it's cold outside and you can't see and you don't want to hurt yourself and you just want to do your business and go right back to bed. Off grid living in a way. So, tabu. so this is part of the kitchen the kitchen's outside but this is where they prep a lot of food they have another dish drying rack slash cupboard um, tuyo. Tuyo. i'm not sure what that is balloon <laughs> she's pointing out the balloon over here Really cool. There's their storage right there. More things. Let's go and check out the toilet where you do your business. Let's check it out. I think you can shower in here too. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. So you can shower in here, um, but you have to use water and a taboo. And yeah, that's the toilet right there. That's the toilet right there. There's no flush. So you take water from here, use the taboo, pour it in there and everything gets washed out. So washroom, shower, but I will be showering outside. So that's where we do our business every morning. Good morning. Good morning. So check out this kitchen. This is amazing. Everything's cooked with wood. Everything smells good. It smells like a campfire. They store their extra wood over there. They prepare. Hello. Hello. The 
food right over here. Everything smells good. Outdoor kitchen, really cool. <laughs> and they got a dog right here. This guy right here. So this is pretty neat. In a way, it's all the gridding. Grid, not grid. <laughs> She's following me. She's like my sidekick since I got here. Far far you. Far far yo. <laughs> More firewood, for cooking. Look at all the greenery here, it's beautiful. You hear the crickets chirping at night. You have roosters everywhere, another dog. So if you haven't been to the Philippines, check it out. It's a great place to be, really nice. It's morning and the sun is shining and I'm loving this. I'm gonna do some sun gazing in a little bit. Energize, have some breakfast, have a shower, and check out the city. And hey, this guy's coming over to say hello. There we go. Everyone watching this, I hope you have a beautiful day. If you haven't smiled today, don't forget to smile. One last thing like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Have an amazing day, everybody. be surrounded by roosters eating especially out of my hand i thought it hurt but it didn't hurt you do have sharp beaks but they're gentle when they eat <laughs> <laughs>